how to visualize your dependencies in Jira. So in Jira, we have the option to link uh, multiple issues together with the help of this inbuilt feature called issue linking, which is great, which works really well because you want to link two activities that are somewhat similar. Maybe they are duplicate activities or maybe they are dependent on each other. So you can always link them. So this link works really well because when you open one activity, when you open one issue in Jira, you will be able to also take a look at the linked issues. So this is fine, but uh, uh, there is one uh, one common requirement from uh, from people who are using Jira is that they also want to do few more things on top of that. Issue linking is fine, but what about uh, stopping the dependent issue from getting closed? What about visualizing your uh, dependencies in uh, some form of uh, some some hierarchy maybe. So in this video, I want to share uh, some tips on uh, solving these problems. So number one is when you have these uh, linked issues, when you have, let us say, one activity dependent on uh, some other activity, which uh, is very common because when you are making a project plan or whenever you're doing some planning, maybe you want uh, to have some activities to be done first which is something that uh, Jira won't do out of the box for you. But what you can do, you can always uh, use some customizations. You can always uh, modify your workflow to take a look at the linked issue status. But this can't be done uh, without uh, using add-ons like uh, script runner, for example. So this is possible, but you need to use uh, some add-on that will control how your workflow will uh, behave. The second requirement is how to visualize your dependencies and this is where uh, you need to spend some time uh, understanding uh, your own requirements. Just uh, think about what you want to do. If you just want to uh, create a visual hierarchy, then you can use uh, uh, the app called Structure, which is, in my opinion, uh, great. You can, uh, you can just create this board where you can uh, visualize all the activities that are linked together. In case you want to do Gantt charts, which is uh, very popular with uh, with project managers, you can use uh, an add-on or an app called Big Picture. With the help of Big Picture, you can visualize your activities in Jira using a timeline, and you can create those uh, old-fashioned dependent dependencies like uh, this activity should be should be started when you finish this activity. So you will be able to create these links. Uh, these uh, this linking or these dependencies and uh, you can actually do it on a timeline just like a typical Gantt chart. Of course, you can do a lot more things with the big picture, but uh, this is one of the highlight, one of the main feature of a big picture add-on. And uh, the third app or the add-on that I want to talk about today is called Portfolio. With the help of Portfolio, you can also create uh, dependencies. There is uh, a, a great report within Portfolio that will let you visualize your dependent activities but of course with the help of, with the help of portfolio you can again do other things like uh, uh, you can create scenarios you can actually feed your input you can feed your information about uh, the number of resources the activities that you want to do your estimation to portfolio and portfolio will help you with the calculation of uh, your uh, your version release dates it will tell you whether you will be able to release this particular version on this date or not, or it can suggest the date for you. And you can also use uh, portfolio to do some kind of uh, capacity management as well. So there are different use cases uh, uh, that can also be achieved with the help of portfolio. And uh, uh, in my opinion, the best advantage of portfolio is that uh, you can make your plan uh, on top of your multiple projects. But unless you're satisfied with the plan, you have the option to just play with the plan itself. But once you think your plan plan is ready, you can just uh, click on a button and the plan will be then applied to the project. So these are some of the add-ons that uh, can be used for doing uh, uh, or maybe to do visualization of your dependencies. And if you also want to also control, for example, your, uh, your linked issues, you can use some uh, workflow customizations with the help of add-ons like uh, Script Runner, for example. And I hope uh, this uh, video was useful. Thank you very much.